Good morning, good day, whatever part of the day it is for you. I want to ask you a question. Do you start things but don't finish? Are you being effective in what you're doing? So the shiny object syndrome is we're always chasing after the next best thing but not finishing anything. So I want to talk about that today and maybe become make you aware, you know, if this is happening to you, how to overcome it and some tips to avoid it. So welcome. And if you're joining me live or on the replay, please tell me where you're coming from and say hello because I love to shout out to you. And it's so interesting to see where people are coming from, from all around this beautiful planet. And if we haven't met before, my name is Olive Dodd and I'm here to inspire, educate, motivate you to bring your business online using social media strategies to attract people to us because we don't want to be chasing after people who are not interested so welcome and so today's topic so i know that i have been guilty of this and maybe still am a little bit but becoming aware of it is the uh, most effective way to overcome this so i want to bring some awareness uh, to this topic so we do need to stay updated in things, but if we're constantly distracted and getting off our main road path, then we're never going to master you know, what it is that we want to do to master our goal because we're always climbing, we're always learning. So uh, entrepreneurs just want to crave new things. You know, we're not afraid to start things, but do we finish them? So if you're constantly stopping, and starting new things then there's no finish and so we need to follow through and to make these things you know go into action to make them uh, worthwhile so where are we with that you know and how do we make a difference you know do we have a system a roadmap to follow through to get what you want so here are some typical signs you know that um, might be shiny object syndrome so we're unable to finish things, you know. So we're really excited about starting. There's something new, you know, whatever things come through in our news feed and we get really excited and think, okay, well, this is what will really, you know, make a difference. And then we start that and uh, we never, uh, never finish it, you know. And so then you keep buying products. And so then you're also losing cash. And if your team is following you, then they don't know what's coming next because each week there's something different. So we need clarity. Clarity, you know, brings momentum, you know, and um, it's like, otherwise you're, you're treading your wheels. So I know that, you know, <laughs> I have a whiteboard beside my desk and on it I had to make a list out of all these courses that I started. And this was a while ago that, you know, I signed up for all these courses over you know a period of time and you know right now I'm on a much bigger goal much bigger path and I have a roadmap so all those are just sitting there but this reminds me that you know it is so easy to get into this shiny syndrome object or shiny object syndrome so another uh, sign is you know of course just like I said you know you, you go on to one course and then the next and you never finish and so and that brings a feeling of frustration you know you're more frustrated than before the purchase because you're not getting anything completed you know so it's uh, you know and what would it feel like you know to actually master something because when you're always uh, you know starting something new then you're always being the apprentice you know when you start something you're the apprentice and then as you learn you become professional and a master so what would it feel like to actually master some skills and in order to master you have to follow through and actually put them into action because we learn something but it's not until you put it into action that it you know becomes effective so how do we get out of this so we need to invest in ourselves by planning you know have some clear goals you know and a strategy where is it that you know you want to go some clear goals uh, break it down to weekly monthly you know uh, quarterly so and some short-term goals in there too and uh, 
um, like I've said many times before, and uh, celebrate those small goals. You know, have some rewards in between. We need to make this fun because otherwise, if it's all work and no play, then it's not sustainable. So, how can you make your business fun? You know, whether that's a community, you know, and colleagues. And I just was on a Zoom call with, you know, a, a, quite a number of colleagues. And it, that was very inspiring and, and it makes it fun. And then, you know, I went to a workshop and we got together and we had fun together and we laughed. So that makes it fun and inspiring. So how can you make your business fun so that uh, it's sustainable and you enjoy getting up and doing it? Okay, and so the whole point of this is to become aware of, you know, the possibility that it, when you're see things in your news feed that you know you become aware okay am i you know just being attracted to this there's that fear of missing out you know so you want to uh, grab it right now while you can you know but does it mean that it's better you know ignore the hype and you know you still want to stay current but just be aware of where you are you know in your path in your road map and you know all these products and things will still be there even though there's a wonderful sale on right now you know it will come again do you really need it and uh, the next tip is uh, overestimating the value of others and what they have done and underestimating what you have done you know and it's this compare and so you're always feeling that you need to be you know like this other person and turn that flashlight around, you know, and look at yourself and think, okay, well, you know, I am succeeding. I am, you know, better than I was last month or I have progressed. And, you know, that again, you know, looking at that self-evaluation, I have a planner that every month you write down, there's a spot in there to write down, you know, what you have accomplished this month, you know, and what you have learned and you can reflect on where you were at the beginning of the month and where you are now and you can see that you have progressed so that compare items you know stay in your own lane stay on your own path and then uh, just checking my notes here you know assess your life and you know how much time do you have to dedicate to your business and you know the pros and cons you know with your family and that kind of thing and just you know so be respectful of that you know and honor that that you do have other commitments so allow yourself to have that balance then another uh, tip to avoid is the signal to nose ratio you know we have so many groups that we're um, opted into and so many newsletters and emails and all this noise and distractions that are coming in you know, so maybe you know limit that you know how much do you really need you know maybe have two or three or a handful that you're really in tune with and you keep up to date with and then unsubscribe to the rest or just put them aside so that they're not distracting you and then, you know, invest in, evaluate, you know, what ones, you know, do you really need? So then the next one is uh, the cost, of course, of all these new tools. There is the immediate cost. And so when you're in the initial phase, then you're adding more cost. But it's only when you put things into action, you know, that you're, investment is you know becoming a reward there's a return on your investment otherwise it's just a cost so remembering that the cost of the new tool as an investment is only worthwhile if you're actually going to implement it so are you going to finish it and actually Im implement it and lastly is the mental cost of changing your focus all the time that you know that frustration and that feeling of not accomplishing things right now i have lots and lots of things that i need to do because i'm switching over 
months and so I get frustrated just in, you know, I have a longer term goal and I can't get to that because I have a whole bunch of little short term goals now. So if you're constantly changing, um, you know, new courses and new uh, objects and new um, goals, then there's that frustration because you know that you never really finished the one that you did last month. So there's that frustration. So when in doubt, don't do it. Take, you know, 24 hours sleep on it and really think about, you know, do you really need this? Is it, you know, a real opportunity? Because where the, your, the growth happens is when you stick to something and you have some accountability, you know, maybe a mentorship uh, to keep you on the path and to keep you accountable. Did you do your, you know, goals for this month? And I have a coaching call coming up uh, tomorrow. So <laughs> I'm very aware of, you know, what I have done and I'm thinking, okay, I have to get these things done. So it's really effective to have a program where you have accountability and that is key, key, key. So that's what I wanted to uh, offer to you today. And uh, if you want to know more about a mentorship program or even, you know, a roadmap, you know, there's some free uh, information that I can send you. If you're interested, uh, just uh, contact me and let me know. Uh, write in some uh, keywords down below and I would be happy to send this to you. So thank you for joining me, those who join me, and I really appreciate uh, your giving me your time and your comments. So I hope you have a wonderful day, whatever part of the day it is for you. And uh, we shall see you again in two days on Friday. So bye for now and take care.